The next point we have here is probably our biggest celebrity headline of today's economy update, which is Donald Trump, the man himself. He basically, he actually said himself on his social media that he could be arrested tonight. And this comes after a series of social media posts um, on one of his platforms, um, pretty much saying that I think it was on Friday, sometime last week, he mentioned that he could be getting arrested on Tuesday and was calling all of his supporters to protest to make sure he doesn't. So I know we all have an appetite here, especially for your predictions, Stephen, on our economy updates. So is Trump going to prison tonight? Um, sorry, I'm, I'm actually just trying to see if there's any updates. Um, yeah, if anything's happened, because normally this sort of stuff does happen early in the morning. Yeah, plus uh, the time it, it, difference it, it, too. But yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I can't find anything. There's nothing flagging on any of the the major um, major news networks. But anyway, yes. So um, apparently. Um, it's been leaked and, and the US has been awash with him this um, sort of for the last, um, uh, yeah, no, yeah, it's, um, what, what's the time over there? 4.30, depending on where you are. Um, Dallas is 4.30, yeah, New York is, is 8.30, it's 5.30. Um, so uh, Trump, a, a lot of the stuff leaks and that that Trump gets, um, he gets straight from the horse's mouth because there's a lot of people that that hate um, this US district attorney uh, and the um, attorney general. Um, it's all 100% politically motivated. This is about trying to turn Trump into a non-candidate for 2024. Um, either that or Trump has set this up um, and and is masterminding this himself, and we'll never know, because if he does get arrested, he wins. No ifs, buts, maybes. If he gets arrested and goes through a show, a show trial, he wins. And he could be the first American president that's in jail, because there is nothing that says that if you're in jail, you cannot be president. It says you can't be a senator, but it says you. But it says there's only two criteria to be U.S. president. One is over your age of 35, and the other one is you're you're an American-born person. That's it. So you can be a felon, a mass murderer. Um, you could be Ted Bundy, right, and still be American president. There is nothing that disqualifies you from from uh, anything other than those two two points. Um, so this is either, and this is my conspiracy hat on, Trump um, masterminding the best political election strategy of all time is get me arrested and I'll run from jail. Uh, or two, it's a, and, and it is a Democrat guy, it's a Democrat guy in New York that we know hates the Trump family and has always hated the Trump family. Um, he's made his basically career on trying to uh, convince the Trump, the Trump family, the Kushners, um, the uh, there's a third family, and it's just escaped me. Um, but basically, these developers, uh, Kokorians, um, that um, have all been massive New York developers and made a hell of a lot of money, and they've mainly all done it by building. Um, what they call government um, supported housing uh, or low income housing as we would call it and um and and built yeah the ghettos of the bronx and the queens and uh the harlems and, and all that sort of stuff that are all being regentrified now and they're making squillions that that is um that's my take on this now is the charge true probably you know he paid off a, a porn star, you know, or had one of his people pay off a porn star. So be it, who cares? Um, you know, politicians have done a lot, lot worse um, in America, uh, especially Democrat politicians. Uh, but Trump is hated by both sides. So um, Trump 
is in the same boat as Kennedy, um, JFK. JFK got the establishment offside, so they had him killed, pretty much. Um, you know, put my tinfoil hat on. Um, he, he was taken out because he was going to stop the war in Vietnam, uh, or sorry, basically not go into the war in Vietnam. He was going to um, clean up Cuba um, and, and do a deal with the Russians to stop all that sort of stuff. So the Cold War pretty much would never have really kicked off uh, if Kennedy had got his way. Um, so he was taken out because it was going to make a shitload of money for certain people in the US. Trump did the same thing, but he did it making America energy independent. And he stopped the wars overseas. Trump was the first president, um, once again, since pretty much Kennedy, that didn't invade anyone. So he, um, he took America out of wars. He shut stuff down uh, to the behest of the establishment. Now, we're not talking about the establishment in US circles. I talk about the neocons and the deep-rooted um, political elites on both sides of the House, the Democrats and the Republicans. And they are very, very, very entrenched. Um, think of McCain, uh, John McCain from the Republicans uh, and Mitch McConnell um, and uh, Nancy Pelosi and all these people. Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton wants war like nothing else. She is one of the largest warmongers that, that, that I've ever seen. Um, she was the one that tried, that pushed Obama into pretty much evading, invading and blowing up Syria and everything else. And, and, um, and he still won a Nobel Peace Prize for being one of the most, um, you know, uh, what would you call it, cold-blooded criminals um, of all time. So, yeah, so back to this. Watch this, this case. Um, if Trump does get arrested today, uh, that pretty much means that he'll be the Republican nominee because imagine the story you can run on, you know, you know, political, um, uh, what, what would you call it, uh, um, you know, imprisoning your, your political uh, opponent. That's just, that would just run in America. You know, you would have people coming out of the woodwork to support Trump, both Democrats and Republicans, um, that, that would just get behind that. So. So really what you're saying is it's one of two um, possibilities. It's either someone's trying to put him away um, who hates the family or it's a, a marketing strategy for his next run. Yeah, yeah. And it could be because he is the world's greatest marketer. Um, it, could be, he, he, it could be that it is the best marketing ploy ever. Um, you know, don't hold me to that. But if it is, holy shit, it's a good yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, I've got to agree with you on that. It'd be a great marketing campaign if it came, if that's what his plan was. Yeah, yeah. So um, let, let, let's see. But um, either way, uh, the Democrats over this are finished. Um, they're, they're, they're pretty much uh, cooked their goose in places like New York over this and the Northeast. Um, the, um, the lobbies out in um, uh, California couldn't care. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely in the Northeast, uh, the Democrats are cooking themselves.